So we gonna let's just look at the game. Let's look at where we at with this thing. Where we at with our art? Where we at with our creativity? You know, let's just take a good, nice, long look at it. You know, and ask yourself this: If you're an artist, creative in any way, you know, that's arts and crafts, whatever, the, whatever it might be. Do you feel like you're making your mark based on not my definition or barometer or metric for you making your mark, but based on your metric for making your mark? How do you feel about how often you use it? How effective is it? Who does it help? What do the people say in response to you doing what you do? And then the most important thing is, do you love it a lot? Do you love it? Asking these questions. You might find yourself starting to become a tycoon because you focus so much on what you love. You start to build around this subject. You start to build around the object of your desire, the object of your love, you start to build on. And with that building comes uh, the structure, the certainty. Your planning is going to be on point. And most importantly, your energies won't be scattered out because you will have a singleness of mind. You'll be focused. That's what it means to be focused. Not it's not about how many different things you can do when it comes to focus, but how well can you stick to one particular task? How well can you stay what they call on point? What is the point? The point is referring to something singular usually, and the point is usually one aspect of a thing or another. So if you're a musician or a vocalist, you're not going to put so much focus on the engineering if you're the vocalist and you have people who do that because you're the vocalist you're focused on the vocals you see that focused is usually predicated on a singular thing it's pointing to a singular thing usually What I do enjoy though About the multifacetedness of Hip hop Is uh, Just how energetic And magnetic it is And still is You know it doesn't even matter If it's underground, overground All of it is magnetic Whether it's industry or in the streets It's all magnetic It's all got a pull It's special the griots are still here. They still telling their story. That story involves a lot of warfare right now and a major part of it. But honestly, how is it any different than it was before? The only difference really on a lot of levels is colored hair versus colored beads in the hair. When I compared the 90s to now, Folks were still, uh, they were still banging in the streets. Not as much of it was on wax as it is now because, of course, we're past wax. We're in Ethereum or whatever digital medium you want to call this. It's not wax, though. MP3 or, or we on wave. You could say that. We on wave right now. And when you on wave, anybody can jump on wave. But wax whole process behind wax you had to do a lot to get on wax my goodness you had to really like you know get cds you really had to press them cd is the new vinyl you talk you, you talk about that that's the new record player yeah ask somebody born after 2000 what's the cd player it's going to be the same answer as what the record player was to us or what the Ritz Fitch Troller was to our parents. And what the phonograph was to their parents. You, you get it? It's the same thing over and over. 
and it makes me wonder too like <laughs> some things like what if they're sending like the same you know what if they're sending the same archetypes as some of these people that like these athletes like what if somebody like Andre the Giant will just keep reoccurring like what if that's who the big show really is and this person and that person like what if they're all like the same man or a team because you know like when you're an artist or entertainment entity your name becomes a whole team it becomes a whole entity like it'll be team you even though it'll be your name your name will represent a whole a whole entity like an LLC and in that could come can be a whole team representing you of course but it's gotten down to not just lawyer representation legal representation but it's all the way down to the expression of the image and likeness now so i say that we in an interesting sport the sport is so interesting even ai want to be down even ai is like i'm jumping in here whose voice can i use let me get in on this even ai want to rap even ai want to sing even ai want to do this hip-hop so it ain't going nowhere in terms of leaving the scene but it is going somewhere major in terms of a metamorphosis i see a revolution i see an evolution at the same time too if it goes any more digital and you know what i mean tiktok ish in terms of the sound effects we'll be right back to uh 05 we'll be right back to the dynasty how those beats was like mad electronic we'll go right back to that you only one step from it all you got to do is pick up that if, if the emo was sped up a little bit you going right back and forth in timeline on the, on some seesaw status or like those uh those rides in the amusement park that swing back and forth like a pendulum it's going it's going this way and it's coming back it's going to the left and the right that's hypnotism to go back and forth you could be hypnotized into what? Into anything. Into believing you're really going somewhere. Into believing you're really advancing. Be hypnotized with the swinging of the watch. Going back and forth. Not too many movements now because it won't be hypnotic. You'll break the spell. That gives you a clue on what kind of music you want to do too. If you wanted to be hypnotic, just make it mad, mad mundane and mad routine. Just try to find a pattern that's real simple or a phrase or whatever and just over and over and over make it real simple though if you're a writer's writer you may or may not want to do that but if you're entering artistry from the lens of what the entertainment industry considers uh, good or hit worthy then go ahead and investigate it try your hand at saying a whole lot more with saying a whole lot less cutting the bars in halves and thirds it's cool and what i do like about it is yo if you're a lyricist lyricist it makes your job it makes your job easy actually you don't have to do all of the what they call it the hibbity bibbity it you don't have to if you feel that way go ahead and rock but it ain't it ain't man, it ain't as mandatory as it was back in the day back in the day in the Daz effects day, every everybody was tripling up, and, and every everybody was it was hibbity bibbity. And you know what's so funny? We right back to hibbity bibbity now, just with a whole different drum cadence. They they still spitting triplets. You know this is still uh it's still Bone Thugs and Harmony. It's still Freestyle Fellowship. We didn't move anywhere. <laughs> Things just look different. And styles and all of that. But dressing up a clock don't stop the time. Whether it's a clock or like grandfather clock, clock tower, wristwatch, Apple watch, Fitbit, or <laughs> whatever. You know what I mean? Even if somebody, you know... When it got them a born identity, maybe their time is in their body. They could maybe it's 
they could see it right behind their irises. They might have some kind of implants where they could just check on themselves to check the time. What time is it? And it'll just flash in their mind. You know, they'll be Wi-Fi up to all of the time and clocks. You know, hey, listen, I've seen somebody buy groceries with their shoulder. Just walk right up to the scanner and buy groceries. I ain't even going to tell you where. <laughs> but those of y'all who know where, y'all done been there. And let's not act like this wasn't getting ready to happen. They was talking about this all the way in like 95 for those of y'all who was around. They were talking about these employees at a, um, it was a place in Chicago, I think. And the employees was just scanning their bodies to get in and out of the building. That's what hip hop is doing right now. Hip hop got implants. Literally. <laughs> implants. Even to the point where they digging up things like, yeah, this person was an implant all along. Your heroes. I don't know what that's about. Whether that's true or false is not as important as the fact that it's an ongoing pattern with that. Is this how history is really rewritten? Do you just erase the other leaders or you change them up? Is it the whole thing, Venus, Aphrodite, the first 2,500 years, but then the 25 second years in order to let a new thing in and got to be Lucifer? Is that what hip hop is? You know, is it, is it, uh, you know what I mean? I thought, I thought I told you that we won't stop. Is it, is it that? And then now, oh man, he's the most treacherous evilest person in the world and we couldn't say nothing for 35 years i'm not saying whether it's true or not i'm gonna look at things like the illuminati look at things i don't care whether it's true or false anymore i just care that it's there <laughs> that's how the real illuminati look at stuff they don't care whether something is true or false they only care that it's there and so you looking at it purely as its effect on society, like the true scientists. You ain't putting no stake in nothing. You just want to see what things do to people. But you're not on the half where you're manu manufacturing these things. No, nah, you're not Hegel. You're not giving them the, uh, the problem because you got the solution on cuff and you want to monetize the solution. So you're going to put people in the problematic. No. Nah, this is just looking at all there is and make and making sense out of what his effects is on people and then getting in where you fit in, I'm guessing, is what come was what goes from there. Yeah, like don't hate on the real Illuminati. A lot of people don't know who it is or what it is, but how it but what it believes, they give you breadcrumbs to that. And it's not what you think. You know, everybody want to run around with that. Everybody want to be illuminated. I get it. But it's, that's not the illumination y'all thinking about. Nah, they shine. <laughs> it's like shining light on the Monopoly game. It's like, yeah, put that, put that light over here so we can see the pieces a little bit better. It's not light it up so you can show me the way. Nah, not that kind of energy. That's not what the real illumined ones are. The scientists of the blue flames and red flames and yellow flames, orange flames, golden rays. The etheric ones don't look at good and evil like good and evil. All they see is cause and effect. Like very string theory. And what kind of ethers, meaning what kind of smell. Yeah, that, that's they really could see things like that. Like they could tell how smells make a person think. They be dealing in that realm. They're like the ethers the you know they'd be like the fibers of what your spirit is the molecular structure of your spirit can lead to this or that and we want to see his effects on man so all of this the return of the etheric ones ancient ones etc all of this is still happening in hip-hop big time hey look if a legend want to reinvent themselves all they got to do is link up with a young producer and get it in they don't even have to change what they talking about or necessarily how the beats might be a lot faster than what they used to rapping on but as you can see look at the king's disease trilogy it still works it still works 
You don't have to uh you don't have to compromise yourself to be relevant. You could just go right on being relevant and just being uh flexible and skilled at your craft. He talking about yeah, yeah, King's disease, he talking about real talk, OG stuff. But he not he not keeping it the same way. He not trying to make another it was written. He not trying to make another Illmatic. He giving you what's going on with him right now. And that's the way to rock. So again, a Super T Sigma of Sigma programming. I thank you for your time. You know, you already know reaching is teaching. I probably ain't say that in a long while, but you already know this by now. Just continue to vibrate high, people, in the meantime. I already know you are, but just continue to. Peace.